good morning, everybody. We want to welcome you to today's 7 at 7. I am Pastor Daniel Cavazos, and I get to share with you all just a brief message, a word of encouragement. Uh, so as always, we'd like to invite you to like this video, share this video. We invite you as well, if you have any testimonies that you want to share with us, love to hear about it, love to just join in with you and uh, just giving thanks to God and glorifying God. And uh, if there are any uh, prayer needs, prayer petitions, please let us know. And we have a team here that would love to just join together with you and uh, believe God and declare God's word over you and over your situation. So again, if you're just starting, I am Pastor Daniel Cavazos and I get to share with you all today. So let's jump right in. I want to share um, the three marks of a disciple with you today. And uh, they are all found in John, the book of John. And, uh, you know, disciple is one who is a learner. That's what the Greek word means, is a learner. We are, if you have received Jesus in your life, if you've surrendered your heart and made Jesus your Lord and Savior, then we are disciples of Jesus Christ. And so uh, with that, there's three marks. The first mark is in uh, John chapter 8 and verse 31. Jesus speaking says, He said to those Jews who believed him, If you abide in my word... You are my disciples indeed, and you shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. So the first mark of a disciple is one who abides in God's word. And what is God's word? God's word are his words here in this book that we know as the Bible. Uh, and that word abide means to live. It means to, um, contrary to visiting from time to time, an occasion, whenever there's a need, uh, really the mark of a disciple here is that you live in God's word. Uh, and it starts with you having a devotion. It starts with you um, seeing this through the lens of, this is God speaking to me. This is life. Jesus said, my words are life. Um, and, and, and here we find freedom, the Bible says. And so uh, I want to encourage and remind everybody that, that you know, we are called to live in His Word. What, you know, we have to ask ourselves from time to time, what, is, what does God's Word have to say about that? You know, let me stay close enough. To know what God is saying, what He's speaking, um, what He's showing me, and what He's doing in my life, and doing around what He's doing around me. The second mark is in John chapter thirteen, uh, verse thirty-four and thirty-five, and uh, Jesus says, "A new commandment I give to you, that you love one another as I have loved you, that you also love one another. By this all will know." that you are my disciples if you have love for one another uh, and so the second mark is is the way we love each other um, you know this is what it's about this is what who Jesus this is who God is God is love and you know he says if 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 you love one another it's really a witness that you are a learner a lifetime learner of Jesus that you follow God that you devote your life to the Lord uh, an example of that is how you love. There's, there ought to be, in the life of a disciple, there ought to be forgiveness flowing through our lives. There ought to be this compassion in our hearts. There ought to be um, the concern of, of whether this person knows the Lord or not. And how we handle, how we deal with people, how we react to different situations has to be driven by love. And I love what Jesus says here. It's really interesting to me. He says, a new commandment I give to you. You know, a little before in another story, Jesus is talking to the rich young ruler. And he mentions about loving, your loving God, but loving your neighbor as yourself. And really, you know, I believe personally that he's talking about loving everybody, loving anybody, no matter what, as you would love yourself. You know, treat the golden rule. Treat others the way you would want to be treated. But it, here to his disciples, Jesus takes it up a notch in a different level and he says here particularly he doesn't mention love others or love disciples or love one another the way you love yourself but he says the way i have loved you and i personally believe that's just a different level that jesus calls to god calls us up to in our love and how did jesus love us he loved us with 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 everything he gave his own life he laid down his own life for us and i believe jesus calls us as disciples to love that way, to love the church that way, to love one another that way. And by, by doing that, it is a witness 
to the world that we belong to Jesus. Here's the third mark is um, found in John 15, verse 8. Uh, Jesus says, By this my Father is glorified, that you bear much fruit, so you will be my disciples. Um, and this is really, uh, bearing fruit is, is, is really in the act of serving. You know, it's, uh, when you think about fruit on a tree or a bush, it really that fruit is, is a result of the root system of what that tree is really created for, what the purpose of that tree is. Is, is, is that there is fruit for other people. It is to bless, it is to nourish, it is to help other people. And so, uh, you know, there's a saying, the, the, the fruit's not for the tree, it's for others. And that is true with us, with the giftings that God has given us, with the talents God has given us, with the calling, the purpose. A mark of a disciple is one who is actively serving, giving of, of themselves, uh, giving of what God has given to them. And so uh, it's really cool when you look at all these three things. It's Jesus talking, uh, and it's disciple. The word disciple is used in all these three areas. And in the first area, to sum it up, you abide in his word, and by doing that, you're free. The second thing is you're loving, and as you love the way Jesus loved, you're witnessing to the world. And the third thing is that you are uh, giving, you are serving, bearing fruit, and by, as you do that, you are glorifying God. And those are just what we are called to do. And it's never a, a time that we get to a place where we stop doing it because we're always a disciple. Because a disciple is a learner, a lifelong learner devoted to Jesus. So I hope that encourages you all today and, uh, you know, that it would just in inspire you to, to get with uh, God in His Word, to love on a different level, and to just do something for the kingdom of God. So with that said, let's go ahead and do some confessions this morning. So, uh, would you repeat with boldness, with confidence, with faith after me? I am chosen by God. I am adopted into God's family. I am redeemed and forgiven in Christ. I am seated with Christ, far above every enemy. Every spiritual blessing is mine in Christ Jesus. All of God's promises are for me in Christ Jesus. I am God's workmanship, created in Christ for good works. I am more than a conqueror through Him. I am the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. I resist the devil and he flees from me. My prayers are powerful and they are effective. Well, God bless you all. Uh, I pray that you have a wonderful day and that you have a wonderful weekend. And we will see you Sunday. Thank you. God bless you.